Family Fixins, helping your family prepare this holiday season. Brought to you by Illinois Beef Association. Beef, it's what's for dinner. Hi, I'm Chef Dave with the Illinois Beef Association. Today, we're gonna to talk about roasting. The holidays are here and we all like, we all like that beautiful cr uh, Christmas Day roast. Well, today, the roast I'm using is a tri-tip roast, which comes from the bottom sirloin. I'd like to call this roast an up-and-comer. It's surprisingly tender, uh, lean, uh, and really delicious. If you're out in California, you'd probably have this all the time. A Couple of basics we want to keep in mind about roasting is we want to put the roast on a rack in a pan. We don't want to cover the roast or add water. If we do that, we're changing from a dry heat cooking method uh, to a moist heat cooking method. The best way to determine doneness is with a thermometer. And this one here I like because we can stick the probe in, set it to the degree of doneness, uh, and set an alarm, and when it's done, it'll come out. If you don't have this type of thermometer, an instant re-thermometer uh, would be just as good. You cannot keep this in the roast, we would have to check it periodically. Uh, we want to cook this in the oven at 425 degrees for about 30 to 40 minutes. Once the roast is done, let it rest, cover it with tin foil and let it rest for about uh, 10 to 15 minutes because all the juices will return to the center uh, and it will be easier to carve. And what we want to do when we carve a roast is make sure that we always cut across the grain. As you can see here, the grain direction is kind of going this way. So we'd start our first cut coming in here. Uh, if we want to go to medium rare, we would pull that roast at 135 uh, and let it rest, as I said, for about 10 minutes. And the internal temperature will rise to 145 degrees. And this looks to me like a very beautiful uh, medium rare doneness. And again, it's the tri-tip roast from the bottom sirloin, perfect for the holidays. For all the know before you go, visit beefitswhatsfordinner.com.